Hi, good evening to you. Tonight we are getting a first person view of what officers here in Derby and neighboring cities were dealing with over the weekend. And even though they say fireworks and M80s were thrown at them, they're feeling lucky nobody was seriously injured. New body camera video from Milford police showing an officer responding to a street takeover in the stop and shop parking lot on Bridgeport Ave early Saturday morning. Police say the officer was responding to a fire started by fireworks and M80s in the parking lot. Both eventually fired at the parked police cruiser as people jumped on the hood of the car. The officer was punched and hit by an unknown object. Now home from the hospital after being treated for minor injuries. It's very fortunate when you saw everything the way it went down and to, to see that nobody was injured. Just before moving into Milford, Derby Police Lieutenant Justin Stanko says the same group of people, mostly from out of state took to the streets of his city. Heads up, heads up, heads up! Shutting down Pershing Drive, throwing fireworks at officers with shoppers stuck in the middle of the chaos. Again, they had no respect for certainly not law enforcement, but really no respect for civilians either. Lieutenant Stanko says the group moved on to West Haven, where four adults and two juveniles were put in handcuffs. It's just a matter of having resources one step ahead. You're playing, you know, chess, not checkers. Lieutenant Stanko says police were able to stop the crowd from taking over Shelton, Trumbull, and Orange. But later that night, another takeover involving 1,500 cars decked out in Christmas decor made its way to Universal Drive in North Haven. We're disgusted. We're fed up with this bad behavior. For selectman Michael Frieda says the takeover backed up traffic for miles. At the same time, there was a 911 emergency call that our emergency management people could not get to. But with help from local, state, and federal partners, the people were pushed away. Everybody working together as a team in order to combat this is what is helping us and getting these individuals out of our state. Now, police are asking everybody to take a look at these pictures, these screenshots of the people in the videos that we have shown you here and that we have posted on Fox61.com right now. If you recognize anybody who's involved, you're asked to please give police a call. Any of the departments involved are happy to take that call. We're live here in Derby tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.